Hey, it's Pete here and I'm back for another Bermuda Bowl challenge. We got roughed up a little bit last week by the robots. Um, so hopefully we can recover strong, but luckily we've still got a little bit of a lead. Uh, so we'll jump in and see how to get into it. So what you want to do in BBO, click casual. And then when here you want to do start a table with three robots. And after this, what you want to do is find the deal source. So you click up these three blue lines choose deal source and select a specific match and what we're going to do is type in bermuda bowl just as usual and we're looking for five of eight and we're going to be playing the second half of that so we want to click down here get the matches okay so we can choose five of eight and click ok and we've already played uh, boards uh, one through eight so we want to move on to board number nine so we'll just switch over and get to hand number eight so just click redeal you can do that by clicking the three blue lines and choosing redeal so you get to board number eight uh nine played board eight already okay so we're up to board nine and just a reminder of our current score keeping tabs there in the way we've started with 16.5 imps we whittled away some of our lead, but uh, let's see what we can do now. All right, so here we have uh, seven high card points, pass a club, so I'm not gonna do much bidding here at the moment. We'll see where the opponents end up. One spade here is just fourth suit forcing. East has got clubs and hearts, and they've got some th diamonds. We still don't know if they're balanced or not. That <laughs> looks like they're trying to show a really balanced hand with that description. Um, West is like game forcing, but wanting more information. I probably got a little bit extra. Anyway, I am not on lead. Let's see if uh, the description fits it. Oh, not quite. They only had two spades. No, three spades. Wait. Two diamonds. Okay. This bid here, this is the one. This two diamond bid uh, didn't quite meet the, meet the uh, description here. Anyway, uh, Dummy's got 12 points with a 3, 4, 2, 4. And I got seven high card points. My partner led the seven of hearts, uh, which could be from king third. Um, West bid one diamond. They've bid a spade, fourth suit forcing. Um, they don't have four spades. Uh, they would jump to two spades, I believe, if they had that. So uh, they've got long diamonds, probably five diamonds. I've got a spade stopper. I got enough points for game, for, so about 13 plus points. They could have a lot more. Um, so uh, seven and 12 is 19, 21 missing. West has 13, so my partner's got about eight at most. So we'll see what happens here. So partner led the seven of hearts. This has to be top of a shortage. So I think they have to have precisely two hearts um, because they can't have nine, seven, and the small one. Um, so my partner's got two hearts, West has three. So I think West has five diamonds and three hearts. Okay. Pop in there. Robot's just having a bit of a think here. And now I want to play a spade. Is it ever right to switch to the queen of spades? Uh, so if West, if my partner's got ace, jack, ten, fourth, I need to switch to the queen. Um, if they've got anything less than that, then I don't actually need to. Tronic 92, always good to discuss with your partners what your default response to fourth suit forcing is when you have no stopper in the fourth suit and fewer than three cards in responders first bid suit and no extra length in any of your own suits. Uh, yeah, so how do you just show like a catch all, I don't actually have anything to bid. Um, how do you follow it up? So here East had three clubs and four hearts that had shown. And they decided just to show three diamonds here, which is a bit dicey. 
Uh, a low spade would be good if my partner had five spades and West has like King Jack and then Miss Guesses. Uh, but I think I'll take the legitimate chance of partner having Ace Jack 10 fourth. And that would give partner five points and West just King third, not much else. Um, I'm not sure they would have bid that way, so it's not great options. So we'll try it. Hunt, hunt. Jack of clubs. Okay, so they have all the tricks at this stage, I think. And we lost one imp. Okay, three no plus two. Uh, club of diamond, a heart, a spade, and no trump. LA handled that one. Diamond, two diamonds, two hearts, two spades. So inverted minor sort of approach, I guess. Um, and we got a heart lead from... Where'd that extra trick come from? Okay, they misguessed the diamonds here, there. And a heart lead here as well. So both tables just misguessed the diamonds. But uh, my robot ha managed to sniff it out and get the right, right one. Anyway, one imp away. Anyway, we've got six, seven points. They've opened two clubs. Don't have anything to bid here. And that is where they settle. Okay. Two clubs, two diamonds, three clubs. So unbalanced with clubs. West has spades. Enforcing East is three trumps. So uh, I could choose a diamond lead here. That would be like my longest and strongest that isn't spades. I could potentially choose spades because West is usually pretty weak here, probably like five to uh, seven points. And East is unbalanced. They could easily have a singleton, uh, singleton spade. So maybe spades are four, five. Um, Although that's only promising four spades. Uh, but it could be like four, five, three, one. And we might have a good shot there. A heart lead I don't really want to consider. So for me, it's between a diamond and a spade. And I think East is likely to have good coverage in um, red suits. We'll try and hope that East has a short spade here. Wow, they bid... Okay, so they bid spades rather than their heart suit. Wow. Okay, low spade to the uh, uh, DT. Any word on when BBO will bring back Wii Fit? No, but I'll ask them. I think I'm going to commit here. I don't think East has three spades. They might have raised there. So I'm just going to get in and continue with the jack of spades. And assume that East doesn't have 10 third. Yeah, beautiful. So here, when I led the jack, um, East only had 10 doubleton, so that, that dropped. We've got two spade winners set up. I don't actually have any other way back to my hand. Um, and now I need to find a discard. So dummy had six points and I had five, six, seven. I had seven, so that is 13. So my partner might have four points. Can my partner have the queen of diamonds? Yes. Um, okay, so I think I'll need to find three more discards so am i going to abandon all of the diamonds i need to hold on to jack x or hearts they're going to play a heart over um hearts could easily be uh two two i think i have to abandon diamonds but this could easily give them some extra tricks six clubs two spades is eight a heart is nine we're just letting go of all of these Hoping my partner's got uh, something there. 
Um, if I throw the Jack of Diamonds, I think that's a bit too much that they could easily finesse maybe my partner's queen or something. Um, also, I dislike discarding down to a void. Oh, wow. Uh, I haven't watched to see if my partner discarded a spade, but I had Jack, nine, eight. I don't have, don't think I had the seven. My partner have four of spades. My partner did have a spade. Did I start with Jack, nine, eight? Ah, uh, dummy had the seven. So here, here's the whole hand. Dummy had the seven and they threw that away. That was the uh, card I couldn't remember. Look at this, trick one, seven. Um, so I was legitimately squeezed. So even if I threw a heart, that would just throw the spade and the heart would have been naturally matter. Um, but uh, ho hoping my partner had a higher spade, I, I would have liked that to have uh, tried to remember that pip. But, uh, trick one, missed that one. Anyway, uh, other tables, one got to three, no trumps. Um, one club, presumably strong. Uh, diamond, not sure how the rest of this auction, uh, what it means. And Brink and Driver got to six clubs, two clubs, two diamonds, three clubs, raised to four clubs, Q-bid, Q-bid. And how good is this? So you can rough your diamond loser, lose no spades. That is a fantastic slam there. And this really comes back to something I really like to do in game forcing auctions. Uh, whenever your partner's strong and shows, hey, I've got this miner, I like to support it. It is like when you're potentially in the slam territory, showing that fit really, really helps you untangle it. So raising here to four clubs rather than trying to find out if you had a major suit fit, that was really good. But uh, on the right side of that one and six imps. Moving on to board number 11 and we have six, 11 high card points, three, six, one, three. So one heart. Probably just rebid two hearts, depending what they do. Seem to be uh, thoughtful today. Oh, all the robots just permission denied. Okay, so after a switcheroo, we're back into the modern version. Um, so here, I was just going to open one heart. Probably rebid two hearts. No, uh, don't really have any interest in game. So make game here i would need partner to have like king jack of clubs and king of hearts um, so with perfect cards we might actually make it that would be oh wait no that would be one spade one two spades one club and one diamond so i'd need partner to have a really really good hand so <laughs> i almost talked myself into inviting with this hand with it was like a pretty clear pass like here, partner has a seriously good hand. Okay, so they've got two aces for me. Um, I still have potentially two heart losers, a diamond, club, and a spade. Um, so I want to reduce my club losers. I could play like club to the ace, club to the queen. Ace has the king of clubs, it's all good. If that fails, I can still trump that other one. I wanna take a heart finesse of the king. So we've got this King Jack missing. Um, basically, uh, the odds will say play a heart to the queen and try cashing the ace. But it might be something like you play a heart to the queen and the jack appears. And then you're like, oh, okay, no, switch that. Um, but uh, we'll start by trying to reduce our club losers because I might need to trump a uh, trump the third club and it looks like I will. Rough in there. So that looks like a singleton king, uh, but I don't think there's any harm in uh, just cashing that. Beautiful play. Like it almost talked me out of uh, laying down uh, the queen there. Um, so if hearts were 3 1, um, I was just going to take a spade finesse next off and it would be to the safe side. So. That was all, all good, so they almost talked me out of it. Um, but here we have um, a spade loser at the end.
Okay, so we did score 170, so I almost talked myself into inviting. Partner had the best possible hand they could have. Um, and the others were in three hearts with one heart, one spade, two hearts. One heart past two hearts. It's a quick look. One heart past one spade. Ah, oh, double. I was like, where did that three club bid come from? But uh, with the takeout double, that's pretty easy. Okay, so let's have a quick look how they played it. So it went diamond and they won the jack. Diamond, they trumped. And here they're in three hearts, so they'll play it nice and secure. So they just laid down the top heart there. And that was okay. And here only in two hearts. So spade lead, and they also laid down the ace of hearts. So in three hearts, I think they really didn't want to go down in three hearts. In two hearts on the spade lead, they were a bit more nervous about suffering spade roughs. So they both took that chance. Diamond lead, I wasn't really uh, worried about that. Anyway, um, one spade, two diamonds, two hearts. So I got an easy three diamond bid. Uh, the vulnerability is terribly wrong to try and consider anything more than that. Um, so we will uh, pop. Hmm. Okay, so low diamond to the jack. That looks like East has only... Whoa, whoa, whoa. So it looks like East has only two diamonds, because like Queen Jack Doubleton or something, because... Like they could play the jack from all kinds of holdings, but maybe they've only got two. Uh, spades are three, six, four, zero. So they're going to be cross roughing here. Yeah, okay, so Ace was just fluffing around. They've got more than Jack Doubleton. They let go of a diamond. My partner have only five diamonds because that seemed like something they could trump, but maybe they don't want to. So they probably got good uh, clubs here. We haven't seen them show up with any points till that ace of clubs. So they're drawing trumps. So I had two hearts, so um, still no need to hop up my... Yeah, and I got two clubs sitting back here now. So we'll hold it to 10 tricks at this stage. Um, they, five, four, yeah, they did have a diamond. Nine tricks, King and clock clubs to boot. That seemed, I'm surprised by that. I thought they could have done better. Um, but, uh, zero, five, four, four. Let's just check out what Double Dummy says. Yeah, so they were always cold for it. So um, quick look at the other tables. So uh, one got to three spades. So they opened one spade, one no trump, and jumped to three spades, which uh, shut them out. And that's where that ended. Uh, the others, one spade, two diamonds, three hearts. So two diamonds would have shown hearts, and then they got to support hearts and three spades and four diamonds not totally sure what they are but let's check out how they played so club to the eight so they led a singleton club ah so it's played the other way up yeah and the ace roughed that low spade roughed another diamond they, oh, they led the king of spades and where'd the king of spades go? Okay, they discarded one earlier. Yep. They took a roughing finesse and then just cross roughed this hand for a bit. So at this stage, they lost a club and another club. But here, they're only going to get, uh, like, East gets two more hearts at that stage for 10 total tricks. 
Um, so the Singleton club lead warned them off that that clubs were breaking that badly. The robot playing it our way didn't get to find that sort of information and got to uh, rely on it. Anything else? So seven and a half more imps. So the onslaught from the first half of this set has stopped, which is nice, but uh, let's see if we can uh, keep it going. So five, three, one, four, ten count. So one spade, one no trumps. So do I want to invite? Um, so if I've got a spade fit, my diamond, like this is, I think this is a really close one. If we have a spade fit, we might have game because um, my partner might have ace, queen, third spade, ace of diamonds, king of clubs, and then we'd lose two hearts, and I have two club losers, but maybe I can trump one and get 10. That was a pretty good 10, uh, 13 count with no wasted points and a fit. Um, I think inviting on this one would be okay, uh, but I reckon there's a fair chance that we've got wasted points in diamonds. So what about no trumps? How good of a hand would we need to get to three no trumps? Um, so if that's the case, if partner had like queen, jack, doubleton, spade, and uh, king of clubs, ace, king of diamonds, then we might be able to get four spades. And it was a bit of a stretch. I might take the low road and even just pass here, uh, but uh, I might be missing a game. Okay, so partner has a 12 count. Didn't have a fit there, but it looks like we probably get four diamond tricks, maybe three clubs, and we can probably build two hearts. So three no probably is gonna make on the club finesse, the diamonds coming good. Uh, if I invited, we still wouldn't, potentially wouldn't get there. Partner's got a good source of tricks. Diamonds didn't break. So we've only got one diamond. Got one no plus two. Got themselves tangled up here. Just throwing the nine of clubs away because it's the same. Ace of spades is on side, I take it. Yeah. So making nine, quick look at what the others did. Uh, so one no, exact same auction, diamond, a spade, and no trump. And a different auction, diamond, a spade, and no trump. They went two clubs, two diamonds, and went for two spades, which went down a trick. Um, presume that, oh wow, it can make on a, can be beaten on a low heart lead. And they underled their ace, wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, so <laughs> a low heart lead can set you up to get a heart rough potentially um, by like low heart, partner goes in with the ace of spades, heart to the ace rough, still got the jack of spades, and then maybe you can start tapping them. Um, impressive lead by uh, Joe there, under leading an ace. So all those rules that never underlead an ace against suit contracts. You've seen the best uh, break that rule and it was successful there and helped me get uh, three more juicy imps. So let's move on to board number 14. So three boards to go in this stanza and we've got 11 points. Okay, so options here. I can pass, I could open a club or I'm tempted by opening a diamond. Uh, so here with five, four in the minors, I typically open one club, but I really want my partner to lead diamonds anyway. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and bid a diamond. I don't really see much upshot in doing a club. Got a little secret weapon on the side anyway. I don't know why my partner didn't insist, well, want to play in diamonds after I did that. Anyway, uh, we've got three hearts and five diamonds. So uh, we've got eight tricks really, really quickly. Um, 
the opponents have four clubs and all the spades so i th this one's just a nice easy cash out situation Deserve the beer card just out of uh, good technique, but uh, I'll have to cash it later anyway. But, uh, we'll do that. And I'm just going to exit a club after this. Um, they're going to have enough tricks everywhere, so it's not really going to matter. But sometimes some hand gets stuck with ace, king, third spade and gives me my queen. Sometimes they crash their club honors. Um, so a few fringe options there. But they managed to avoid all of that. They lost three imps there. So we, one table got to five diamonds. Uh, the auction was not recorded because otherwise it said that Waldridge opened five diamonds. Uh, but they're off two spades and a club. Um, and they didn't get the play either. Uh, the other option was one spade... Uh, opening with the uh, not vol 10 count, but good five card suit. Uh, one spade pass, one no trump, and that went down two uh, for minus 100. Um, so here, yeah, getting to one no trump and making plus one, I think is pretty decent. Um, I think it's worth noting the aggressive uh, five card uh, opening, um, not vulnerable. So opening like this 10 count with a good suit. Moving on to board number 15, and we've got just a four count, so pass. One heart, double, two hearts. Um, if my partner doubles again, I'll go to three clubs, but I wasn't strong enough to do it the first time. Yeah. All right, so quick reminder, west is the opening bidder, east bid two hearts. So here, spade lead's a bit unusual, um, but we've got no diamonds, we've got two spades, and we've got three hearts and a club. I want to trump my third round of hearts. In spades, I want to see if West has either the king or the jack, and I'll play low here, and if they've led away from the jack, the king will have to appear, and my ace-queen will be both winners. Otherwise, I can play a spade to the queen later. Wow. <clears throat> okay, so they're trumping with natural trump tricks here. Uh, but East has six spades and King Jack to six spades. Okay, and West has Ace, King, Queen of Hearts. Okay, so th this was <clears throat> good technique by the robots here. So they led the queen of hearts, basically saying they had ace, king, queen, and I think their partner encouraged, um, just to say, uh, like, yes, I have the jack, you can underlead it next. And we'll just claim. I'll just... Uh... <laughs> DT says, Pete, can you please give a shout out to my Polish friends, Christoph? Sism, and Paul. Yeah. Um, I'm not the best at pronouncing Polish names, but uh, yeah. Gave it my best. I think I had Christoph all right. Um, yeah. So, anyway, um, what they did in the defense here, which was pretty cool. So, spade to the jack, and then they returned a spade. And West knows that they need to get their partner on lead. So they played the queen of hearts here, um, asking partner you know, uh, to encourage if they have the jack. Not sure if the robots did encourage there or not, but then they underled to their partner's jack and got another rough. So underled their ace, king, queen to um, give it a shot. Uh, other tables, both the other tables got to three hearts, which went one down. One heart double, redouble two clubs, and one heart double, two diamonds, a three hearts, and you lose 
two diamonds, you lose a diamond rough and a club. So here it can go diamond, diamond, diamond rough. And they get the ace of spades as well. They didn't even bother trying to get back to do anything else. Can they make from here? No. <laughs> so even though they can discard the club loser away, um, if they do that, uh, they can't rough out all their others. Okay, final board. We lost four imps, but we've still picked up uh, nine in total for the set because I lost boards nine and ten scores. Um, or nine and a half. Okay, so... Here we are up to one no trump and I got nine high card points. So I'm going to game force. I'm just going to uh, transfer to hearts and jump to three no trumps off of my partner choice there. And they're going to go ahead and play this final one. Four clubs. I got a maximum with three card heart support and the ace of clubs. Uh, I can't imagine a 17 count. No, that's going to make it. Let's give partner like king, queen, third heart, and ace, king, fifth club, ace of diamonds. That might make slam, but I'm not like, trying to bid that slam's way, way too much, I think. Okay, yeah, so here uh, we've got a club loser, we've got a diamond loser, and we've got a heart loser. I'm not sure why partners crossing the diamonds here. I suspect this board will be relatively flat. Ooh, spades are 5 2. And we're now suffering over offs. The clubs don't break either. Um, so we lost two imps. My partner went two down, but this looks like a nasty split and they mucked around a little bit and got uh, punished there. Um, but two down, so clubs were five nil. I don't know why they didn't lead their like queen jack 10 fifth club. Um, so they had queen, jack, 10, nine, fifth club, and they chose a, oh no, the 10 of spades was on lead the other side. That's why they didn't do that. Uh, others, um, one no trump, two diamonds, three diamonds, up to four hearts. Here, yeah, presumably strong club, and up to four hearts. Both went one down. Partner wasn't up to the task of uh, holding this to just one, but it looks like they would lose two clubs a diamond and a heart if they just drew trumps a little bit earlier but uh overall a decent set so i picked up another one and a half so i'm up 23 so we'll just adjust that now um uh, yeah thanks all for watching hope you enjoyed this bermuda bowl challenge let me know how you're tracking along with it have you managed to uh keep up with the best this was a dicey set, um, so uh, that first half was painful. Uh, the boards one to eight just got sort of beaten and pushed around, but uh, luckily managed to recover just a little bit um, and still holding on to our lead. Anyway, big shout out to all my Patreon supporters because without them, I wouldn't be able to make this content. Uh, so if you like it, please check out my Patreon link and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.